All right, what is up YouTube? The Degenerate Collector coming to you today from the Target in Wilson, North Carolina. We've never hunted this one before, so come with me. Let's go inside, see if they've got any new and different merch. So come with me, let's do this. So yeah, this one is unlike the one in Greenville. This is a, uh, a super Target got the uh, grocery store and everything so maybe just maybe they'll have a better selection all right guys here we go let's go inside in through the outdoor you know when you come in a different target not sure how many people are familiar with uh, Superman comics, but it's almost like a um, bizarro world. Like when everything is the complete opposite of what you're used to. Well, that's kind of how I feel when I come into a, a different target because everything is just always backwards. All right guys, here we go. We have made it to the toy aisle. Let's see what awaits. There's the uh, world's smallest light bright again. Some G.I. Joe. Pretty sure they're not on clearance. I think somebody just kind of threw them here in the, the clearance aisle. Looking at this target, this one definitely reminds me a lot of the one that I recently saw in Moreno Valley in uh, California. Just funny how certain ones are laid out and they have the same floor plan as others. Oh man, lots of uh, Pokemon mega constructs, I always want to call it Legos, but it's hands down, it's mega constructs different company all together oh this is huge look how big this lego set is the mighty bowser and there's the uh question block over here and a pretty cool uh batman and yeah i did see this in greenville before the atari video computer system Let's uh, swing around. Looks like this is just where the toys just came and exploded all over the shelf. This is supposed to be in the NECA section, yet Bob Ross is chilling over here, as well as E.T. and uh, Defenders of the Earth. Uh-oh, we found a Mario that says, try me. What does this Mario do? Let's press his hat. Honey, Mario. Honey, Mario. He says one saying, "It's a me, it's a Mario." There's a little plush Spider-Man. Oh, this is weird south park imagination land the mayor and the leprechaun never seen that before had no idea that even existed super mario balancing game let's do our normal hunt for uh aew chase figures there's a uh, thunder rosa more Stu Grayson. Hey, this this guy's uh, face sculpt kind of could be a degenerate collector action figure. And yeah, basically the the same cast of characters. Elites. We've still got Rey Mysterio. Jesus, this has got to be old Cesaro. I don't think he's wrestled for WWE and quite some time mighty molly holly 
is a Bradshaw. Seth Rollins. WCW version, AJ Styles. And Shawn Michaels and the Dingo Warrior. Some more of the tall uh, 12 inch, not 12 inch, excuse me, more like six inch, seven inch Return of the Jedi figures. And our old buddy Lando. Well, it doesn't look like the Sun Man and the rulers of the sunset is moving one bit. Lots of uh, Master Verse. There's uh, Too Bad, Stinkor, Beast Man, and still up here, the Sorceress, the Sorceress, Jitsu, the Sorceress, and Jitsu. Well, here we go again. It won't be a target trip unless we ask the Magic 8 Ball a question. Are we going to find any rare figures that we haven't seen yet? Cannot predict now. Okay. Sounds about right. It's a Pokemon carry case playset. Lots more Mario figures. Man, I wish they had made Mario figures like this when I was a kid. The only Mario figures that were around when I was a kid were the ones that came in the Mario 3 Happy Meal. And there's the Gremlins. Okay, here we go. Uh, Super Mario Brothers movie action figures are now out. I didn't know these were already out yet. we go looks like they've got the uh, whole set here see I must be out of the uh, the loop on Mario because I didn't know there was a yellow a purple and a blue Yoshi I just remember Yoshi being green like yeah see perfect example here's the uh, the green Yoshi I remember Oh, there's my buddy, Goomba. Now this, I had no idea even existed until tonight. <laughs> I had no idea that NECA was making like the Toonie Terrors style elf figures. It looked like they are based off of the, uh, the old cartoon. I think they're only saxophone and and baseball Alf. it's just those but look what else we found we found more turtles looks like this is a new spot called the collector's spot holothon got more uh, ninja turtles here mona lisa there's the shredder clones oh look at this one man ray Oh, here's more of the uh, the comic book series from like the old Archie. I love how NECA is spelled out like Archie. And here's another one too, uh, Jaguar. Jaguar, excuse me, Jaguar. And a plush ghost face, a plushie. What's up? It is. This is pretty cool. Here's Mario sliding down the uh, flagpole. Got a whole big Nintendo Switch display set up over here. I don't normally look at the video games a lot, but seeing these and all the uh, the protective cases, it kind of takes me back to when Toys R Us. You would get a video game, but you would have to take a even though this isn't it, you would take a ticket 
up to the checkout and they would retrieve your video game from the locked case. And if we swing around here, we got Mario socks and basically a lot of World of Nintendo plush figures. See Donkey Kong down there. And then we've got Pokemon and the Mario Brothers collector's box and a little bit more Pokemon stuff and some some Sonic socks. So yes, if we stay straight ahead, the NECA section is always in the electronics. So here we go. Looks like a old metal lunchbox. Oh, look at this. Never seen this one before. Here's uh, here's Johnny Cash, Super 7. What is this one? Villains. Oh, it's uh, the Villains Hideout. There's a Pennywise handbag or purse, if you will. Turtles, Flash Gordon. Oh, here's some more uh, turtles. Looks like the new wave of the VHS style NECA turtle figures are coming out. Oh, here's our buddy E.T. Oh, it says press me. And he does absolutely nothing. Once again, I have zero luck when it comes to trying any of that. There's a Freddy Krueger body knocker. Oh, this one is wild. The Twilight Zone. The nurse. Oh, wow. Look at that. Check that out. Looks like they got the Wolfman now as well. And they've also got the um, the mummy back there and Frankenstein. These are all supposed to look like the old um, the Rimco figures from back in the day. Huh. They've uh, made Leatherface into the the Toonie Terrors. There's our buddy Michael Myers. I'm not used to seeing the NECA figures in such uniformed order. Somebody has definitely gone above and beyond straightening up the boxes here. Oh, who's that little guy? I love how they've done it though, so you can actually just get a side panel view and see how everything looks. Oh, here's another ET. Let's see if this one works. Nope. What about you? No ETs that work. Here's um, Bon Scott. It's supposed to look like it's autographed. Obviously, it's not autographed because he has passed away many, many decades ago. And now we have come to the trading cards. Oh, here's my buddies. The Garbage Pail Kids. 1986 original series five. Four cards per pack, five cards per box. 20 total cards. These used to be 25 cents a pack. And now, $14.99. For these ridiculous looks like somebody else had the same idea not paying $15 for for that they should still sell them oh look here's the uh, here's the box
crazy. All right, guys, so if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button, leave comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see on this channel. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, I'm gonna keep trying to figure it out.